What if I told you there is a completely natural, up to 99% effective, science-based, applicable to all life stages, safe and practically free birth control? That's all these things. You might say, keep your wooey granola conspiracies away from me. Or, yeah, my grandma used that and my mom is one of eight. Or you might say, tell me more. Did you know that by accurately interpreting just two key symptoms, you can avoid pregnancy with super high confidence? Here's the basics of how it works. We can observe cervical fluid secretions and basal body temperature fluctuations as markers of estrogen and progesterone levels in our bodies. Based on these observations, we can determine where we are in a menstrual cycle and whether we are at risk of conceiving unintentionally. These two simple observations, some education, a place to record them are all you need. But don't just take my word for it, ask science. In 2000, again in 2007, a study performed on 900 cycling people, totaling 17,638 cycles, showed that with proper education and interpreting these two symptoms, participants avoided pregnancy 99.4 and 98.2% of the time. Now, we don't have many studies done on this particular method, and with more data, we might expect more varied results, especially in typical use rates. But a perfect use rate of 99.4%? Sign me up. You're probably wondering, why haven't I heard of this? This method is known as a type of a fertility awareness-based method, or a FABM. There's like 15 other natural methods that fall into this category, including astrological birth control. When institutions like the CDC report on the efficacy of various methods, FABMs are all grouped into one category, then the lowest efficacy is used. On top of that, when groups like the CDC collect data on unplanned pregnancies, they ask people via phone what contraceptive method they were using before they became pregnant, and again, group any FABM failure in the same pot. Understandably, medical professionals won't recommend something that's only listed as being 75% effective at preventing pregnancy. Frankly, neither would I. Aside from the medical world not offering the symptothermal method as a viable option, here are some other reasons you may not have heard of this. Companies that make contraceptives profit off of you not knowing there's a safe, free alternative. Modern culture still thinks women aren't smart enough to understand the physiology of their reproductive cycles. The history of birth control is complex and has both abused and even killed women. Needless to say, it's hard to know who or what to trust. The list goes on. Why am I telling you all this? No, I don't think this is the right method for everyone. But I do think that everyone has the right to know. So now you know. The Symptothermal Method. Knowledge we all deserve. Spread the word and share.